Hi, welcome to lesson 15H, second and higher derivatives. And the idea or the goal of today's lesson is to differentiate functions more than once. So we have a little review that, you know, if we have a function, then the derivative is f prime of x. And if it is in the form of y equals, then the derivative is dy by dx. These are both known as first derivatives with respect to their functions. Uh, the second derivative of f of x is the derivative of f prime of x and is denoted f double prime of x, or f double dash of x. And the second derivative of y is the derivative of dy by dx, which is written as d2y by dx squared. And we can take the derivative uh, of a function as many times as we like, uh, as indicated or dictated by the power of the function. So the nth derivative of y with respect to x is obtained by differentiating y equals f of x n times. And the notation we would use would be f uh, to the n of x, or f um, differentiated n times of x, or whoops, uh, d to the n y over dx to the power n. Let's just take the a, for a few derivatives here. So uh, find f double prime of x, or f double dash of x for these. So in order to get the second derivative, we have to do the first derivative first. So we just take that first derivative. So we get 20x cubed minus 21x squared plus 2x. And then to find the second derivative, f double prime of x, we just take the derivative of that. So we get 60x squared minus 42x plus 2. Moving along, we'll now do the chain rule here. So we'll bring that down in front. So we get 9 times x cubed minus 2x squared. And then we take the derivative of the inside, which is 3x squared minus 2. Then for f double prime, I guess we could maybe expand this in, the 9 times this, etc. But I'm not interested in doing that at the moment. f double prime of x is the second derivative. So we'll take the derivative of this. Now that's going to incorporate the chain rule for this first function multiplied, so the product rule then, by the second function, etc. So we're going to now have 18 x cubed minus 2x times the inside now, 3x squared minus 2x, sorry, minus 2. I'll erase that portion of the x. Um, multiplied by 3x squared minus 2 plus the derivative of the second one now, uh, 6x. And then we multiply that by 9. I guess that could be a square bracket if I really cared to do so. Uh, times x cubed minus 2x squared. I could simplify that a little bit, but that would be a lot of effort. So we won't be doing that at the moment. Um, f of x equals 3x plus 5 over x squared minus 2x. So f prime of x, I'll use the quotient rule here because I find that a little bit easier. So the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared. So that is the first derivative. And I guess, I don't know, do I want to simplify that a bit? You know what, it'll make the second derivative a little bit easier if I do simplify the top. So I'm going to expand out this. 3x squared minus 6x minus 6x squared plus 10 minus 6 would be plus 4x 
minus 10 all over x squared minus 2x squared. And then I'll just simplify this. So I'm going to have negative 3x squared minus 2x, sorry, minus 10x plus 10 over x squared minus 2x all squared. Okay, so the reason why I did all that is because then now the second derivative will be much easier. I could have taken this first derivative and applied the quotient rule, but then inside that I have product rule and so chain rule, so I figured I'm not doing that. So here is the second derivative and derivative of the top, negative 6x minus 10 times the bottom x squared minus 2x all squared minus the derivative of the bottom. Here we've got the chain rule. x squared minus 2x times the inside, 2x minus 2 times the top, which is negative 3x squared minus 10x plus 10, all over x squared minus 2x squared squared. Now, because I'm just looking for the second derivative, I'm going to stop right there because I don't feel like expanding that anymore. If I were to do any graphing, curve sketching of this, finding intervals of increase and de decrease, intervals of concavity, etc., I would simplify the numerator to, to work on that. But in this case, uh, I will stop there. Now go on to example D, which is uh, this. So I'm going to take the first derivative, which gives me 3 cosine x cubed minus 2x, and then the derivative of the angle, which is 3x squared minus 2. And there's nothing really much there to simplify, so I guess I could put bring this to the front, but I'll leave that there. Uh, f double prime equals negative 3 sine x cubed minus 2x times 3x squared minus 2x times 3x squared minus 2. So that's all the, here's the derivative of the first times the second, and then plus the first Oops, x multiplied by the derivative of the second, which is 6x. Okay, this is not a fraction. This is just, uh, I was just indicating what the derivative of the first function was, which is 3 cos x cubed minus 2x. Multiply by the second function plus, then using the product rule, plus the first function, 3 cosine x cubed minus 2x, multiplied by the derivative of the second, which is 6x. And I'm going to stop that right there. Move on to the next page. Uh, we'll find the second derivatives here. So dy by dx, derivative of the first, which is 1, multiplied by the second, which is ln x, plus the first times the derivative of the second. And then I'll simplify this to make the next step easier. And then I'll take the second derivative, d2y over dx squared equals 1 over x. And that is that. For b, dy by dx, the derivative of this is 3e to the 4x times 4. minus 2e to the 3x times 3. And so I'll bring that to the front. So I get 12e to the 4x minus 6e to the 3x. And so then d2y by dx squared is 12e to the 4x times 4 
minus 6e to the 3x times 3. And just to simplify that a little bit, you get 48e to the 4x minus 18e to the 3x. And I believe that is all for today. So enjoy that. Enjoy this. Please uh, complete maybe a couple of these at home and then work on the rest in class. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in class.